Over the years, we've had many amazing superhero titles. Some exceptional games that have been reimagined, Spider-Man being the most familiar superhero game in the recent years. Back in the day, we had many games that capitalized off the superhero movies in the early 2000s. Such games like Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, and of course, the early Spider-Man games, which are absolute classics. But for today's video, there is one more game that I haven't mentioned that still doesn't have the exposure it deserves after all these years. And I'm talking about X-Men Origins Wolverine. This game focuses closely on the Wolverine movie itself, having close cutscenes to the story, insane gore, and the power of wielding metal claws, and as I'm sure you've all guessed, we'll be going for the platinum in this video. For this to happen, we need to complete the story while focusing on majority of the trophies, play through the story again on hard difficulty, and collect all 95 dog tags along with many kills. And of course, a guide was definitely used for this playthrough, so come along as we play as Wolverine himself, reliving his origin story and achieving the platinum trophy. We start our mission off in Africa, playing through the final mission of Team X held by Striker and his soldiers. Of course, we are after the rare mineral that Striker is seeking to use for power. As things didn't go to plan, we did get shot down, and now we are by ourselves as Wolverine Logan, and we need to find the rest of our crewmates. That must be my chopper. I better see how Victor and the others are doing. Time to get to work. Before we find our crewmates, including Victor, his brother, we did figure out the controls and had a bit of fun with the gore as well. You didn't think I was going to come on this chopper, boy? <laughs> what? Oh, shit. <laughs> as we start to cause some commotion, the mercenaries are now after us. But of course, that's not going to stop us to get our first couple of trophies. Throw you off. We should be really close to that trophy. Hey, drop dead. Oh, yo. <laughs> Oh, it's such a badass game. Yo, we're going for a ride. Oh, yo. They're just chilling. Coming in. Absolutely sick. Let's go around lunging everyone, bro. Look, look, he's just flying around the map. Like, it's absolutely nothing. Like, just imagine trying to fight this thing off, and he's just jumping around everywhere. Yo, rage. Lunge 25 times. As we progress further into the jungle, we come across our first boss. Yo. As I was very fresh into the game, I had no idea how to counter this. Oh, I'm gonna die. And this is on easy, I just don't know how to fight him. Yo, he's, he's like just clapping me, bro. Yo, okay, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna keep doing that. And I thought it was the hardest boss in the game, which it really wasn't. Yeah, last bit, there we go. Oh, God of War moment, God of War moment. Yeah, ripped his head off. After we have our little moment being very proud of ourselves for destroying that boss, we now find ourselves on the river, taking down the many mercenaries in the boats and the machine guns. Oh, it's so cool. I am the Wolverine. Hey, he did. Oh, we got our gun. Who needs to have uh, metal claws? We can just shoot our turret with no cooldown. Well. <laughs> that animation. Having our very fun but short-lived experience with the machine gun, we crash into the sandbank where we face off with a couple other mercenaries and bump into our brother Victor, where this leads into a short argument and then going into our next cutscene of the game. I didn't need the help. I was always better at this part than you. Don't worry though. You're the same as me. You just don't know it yet. Kayla, run. Don't ask why, just run. But Logan, go! With now being in the present day, Logan has disbanded from the Team X crew, living a very quiet life without any violence with his partner in the woods. But there is one thing in his life that always comes back and reminds him what he's done in his past. Hey, little brother. Long time no see. As for this part of the story, within the movie, Victor actually kills Logan's girlfriend, to where that's why Logan tracks him down at the bar and they have this big fight, to where this further gets elaborated where Victor actually kills off all the old team members from Team X. On that note, after we do fight Victor, we do get ourselves another trophy, and then we get a story trophy related to fighting Victor. I don't want to kill him yet, because I don't want to miss out on this trophy if I need it. Whoa. Ooh! Victor, you ain't, ain't the man I am. A defensive. I think that was the trophy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> He's got me backed up in the corner. Smack your head, man. Ooh. Oh. I leveled up. Ah. Oh. Just before the fire ended. Trophy unlocked. Uh, bar fight. That's for finishing up the fight with Victor. Now, where'd your old lady get to? We 
Please, Kayla, stay with me. You're okay. You're okay. You can't beat him, Logan. You know you can't. But there is another option. I can give you the tools to defeat him. Your bones will be coated in adamantium. With Victor now on the run and the vengeance still boiling for Logan as he's trying to get vengeance for his girlfriend, we're now willing to work with ex-team captain Stryker, turning us into a stronger mutant. As the procedure went ahead, Stryker has now changed his mind and now wants to terminate Logan as he has become too much of a threat and can't be trusted. As he's made this decision, Logan has heard this and isn't very happy. Terminate him. Yeah, this scene's sick. Such a cool scene. As we are now free with the new power we've received from Striker, he has sent his many men to kill us and stop us before we leave the facility. Along the way, we made some quick work of his men where we found ourselves getting a trophy. <laughs> so gory. I love it. Checkpoint reached. Hey, efficient killer. That's 25 quick kills. As we go further into the level, we do encounter a new enemy called Ghost. These guys could go invisible, but that didn't make much difference because Logan is a super mutant and he could smell anything from a mile away. Blink and you're dead. As we went into the next room after defeating the enemies, we did encounter a jump scare. Oh, whoa! Okay, Wendigo prototype. Jeez. Let's kill the crap out of me. <laughs> I was like, I was like looking at the intercom and I was like, what is that? Taking you out, buddy. Oh, piggyback ride. I was literally about to look up what the trophy was. I was like, oh, I know there's a trophy in here and I just got it. Now skipping quite far into the level, as we go through the many waves of Striker's men, we do find a nurse. This nurse is working for Striker, helping him get the mutation from other mutants and gathering them all to put into weapon 11. Along the way, she found that she was quite concerned with what was going on and decided to help us as we were losing our regen ability. But we actually did get our journey cut short because some of the men actually did kill us and this is how it went. I repeat, weapon X is is dead. <laughs> hey, somebody take my picture. They sure send me a copy. Shit, he's alive! <laughs> After we survived the knuckleheads that thought they killed us, we have now found our way at the end of the level, exiting the facility with absolute style. Deploying Wendigo prototype. As we just think we're safe outside the facility, Striker sends out his goons to drop down a prototype, which leads us into the next part of the level. Claws, 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 claws. Oh, well, that's not fair. I'm in a cutscene. I can't get out of that. He's off. See you, bro. With getting ambushed by the prototype, or Wendigo, as you would say, we did come across another couple of trophies. Hey, there it is. Environmentally friendly and a day's work, 500 kills. Throughout the playthrough, a lot of the trophies will be based on kills. They do try to mix it up a little bit as you'll have environmental kills, certain attacks, and certain enemies. But something interesting did happen while we're trying to get one of the trophies early on in the game. Heightened senses, not bad. That is, oh no, the game froze. Oh, it's crashed twice now. Well, that trophy's for killing 250 enemies in feral mode. Got that, done, cool. After their experience and going further into the level, we have now found Nord. Nord was a part of the original Team X, but now we're still working for Striker. As we're trying to get away from Nord using his sniper rifle in the helicopter, we found ourselves upon another trophy that was very funny and interesting at the same time. Oh no, okay, okay. So I've unlocked all four, this is absolute chaos. I don't know where to start. We've got to let all four at least hit me once, and I've got to kill all of them. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I don't know which one to grab to. Him, him, grab him. No, wrong one. Oh, how do I... What is going on? Okay, okay, okay. I don't have any charge attacks or anything. Not ideal. I can't even land a hit on them. The rocket's is just trying to get some damage off at least. Oh, I did something. I'm glitching or something. Oh, one died. I think the other one killed the other one. Good for him. All right, all right. It's getting easier. Come on, 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 come on. Yes, I got him. Okay. I have. Oh, he's almost dead as well. All right, easy, easy. He's dead. Cool. Awesome. Now we just got the last one. Oh. 
I can probably outfight him here with my health. Yeah, checkpoint reached. Wow, oh, level up. Awesome. So that was all four of them. That trophy should pop. Woo! Yeah, Ultimate Wolverine. Oh, man. With that underway, we went into our next cutscene, where it wasn't so hard, but any video game that has glitches isn't a great time. I had some difficulties trying to land on the helicopter. Jump out! Go for the water! Alright, buddy. Jump out! Jump out while you can! Yeah, yours. Great! Into the blade! Yeah! Oh! How do I land on it? Oh, I'm too far. It didn't work. What's going on? Mission fail! What do you mean? Okay, I've just glitched into the map. How far is he gonna fall? Land properly on it. Oh, thank goodness. We've glitched twice now. I just wanna I just wanna progress. Oh, there goes the tail. You guys are screwed. Oh, next one. What is this? Oh, what is this mission? Alright. Goodness. Oh, kick them out. <sighs> okay, good. After a lot of trial and error, we finally got a hold of Nord, and this is how it went. You ever notice good people tend to die around you? Do me a favor. Take a message to your boss. <laughs> As we are now searching for Rafe to try and find Victor, we find ourselves traveling to Project Wideway. This is a secret government facility producing mutant hunting sentinel robots, as you probably are familiar with the games and the movies. Within this time, we find Raven. She is also searching for Rafe, to where we find out they had a relationship later back in the day when they were all Team X. Now that we are both looking for Rafe, Raven helps guide us through the facility where she thinks Rafe has been captured. Along the way, we find our first sentinel that is in production. This doesn't seem to be a threat until the end of the level, where we find Finally find Rafe, now helping us find Dukes to get more information where Victor can be located. As Rafe and Raven get reunited and get out of the facility quite easily, we now have encountered a friend that isn't too happy. It's the Sentinel. That's so cool. Yeah, that's sick. Yo! Such an intense fight, just fighting his foot. Look how tall he is. Oh no! <laughs> no. I was expecting such a cooler fight, just fighting his foot. <laughs> Oh, he's lost his hand! He's got nothing. He's gonna fly off. He's out of here. Good old Iron Man, he's off. Hey, how's this gonna go? What? Alright, I'm ready. Circle, I am ready. How much faster do you want me to go? I'm going! Go on! Oh. Oh. My arm. <laughs> hey, Fallen Sentinel. Nice. Thanks for destroying the big guy. Oh yeah! Oh, I was so excited for this level. Oh no! <laughs> hey Dukes! Oh, Dukes was so funny in the movie. Did you just call me Blob? No. But... I told you not to mention his weight. Why'd you call him Blob? I didn't call him Blob. I said Bub. Bob, I need to know where Striker's Island is, and you're gonna tell me. Did you call me Blob? From memory, we ought to destroy everything in the supermarket to get a trophy, so we'll see how we go. I'm gonna try and make him crash into absolutely everything before we start fighting him. Oh, so much to destroy. We haven't even finished. We haven't even gotten anything else near the amount that he's got to destroy. <laughs> it's so empty now. Look how empty it is. Oh, no, get off of me! Oh, okay. Couldn't be that hard. He glitched me through. I'm gonna go rid of all this stuff. All right, all right. We should be really close. It should be at least this one. 
Hopefully, I've heard that it is a bit buggy depending on how many things you need to actually get rid of off the ground. It looks like everything. Maybe it's that? Is it? No, it's not. It's not that little forklift. It is too! That little forklift! Uh, that looks like it. It looks good to me. Yeah, clean up on all aisles. It was just that little forklift. Alright, let's go. Let's fight, Chief. Ride Blob! Come on. Oh! Tap repeal your steel bob to the left. Oh, dude, I didn't know he could do that. That would have made so much more help. Come on, go for the jump. <laughs> I love the jump animation. All right, big boy. Come on, Blob. He's almost dead. Come on, before he crashes in anything. Almost there. Doing some doughies. We're doing doughies on Blob. He's dead. Woo! So, Bob, tell me, watch this island. It's where Stryker takes mutants after Victor's caught them. With now defeating Blob and our new acknowledgement that Stryker is actually working with Creed, we now need to locate Remy LeBeau, the island's sole mutant escapee who is currently residing in the casino in New Orleans. As we locate Remy, he thinks we are working with Stryker. So of course he runs off and the majority of the mission was just trying to chase him around. You didn't really miss much, so I'll skip to the final part of the level here. I can't beat him. He's he's just too good. We doing, bro? Oh, okay. What is this? What is going on? Come on. Oh, oh. What's going on? I'm supposed to destroy that. Oh, squished him, bro. See, this makes more sense. He's a bloody Spider-Man. Chill out. Oh, now we got to climb up there. Like, I know that's what I need to do, but it doesn't even give you that option. He does that stupid, you know, like, rapid-fire thing. Like, you can't progress unless you hit the cutscene. Like, how am I supposed to... Oh, finally! I actually got a quick counter off. Finally! Oh, level up. Defeated. That was such a buggy boss. Oh, 52 pickup. Nah, no, drop him. Drop him. Get rid of him. Why'd you save me? You're no good to me, Dad. I need info on the island. Why? Because I'm looking to find Creed and Stryker and end them. With now finishing up our second to final level, I figured it'd be time to do the cleanup trophies. Unfortunately, stats don't carry over, which is so frustrating. But what's more frustrating is when you don't follow a collectible guide to the T. Amateur hour. Maybe I am missing one. Oh, dude, I'm missing that one. Because I read that as number two. That's why. All right, so maybe... All right, maybe... All right, all right. We're on to something. We're on to something. Oh! Ugh, yes, bro. I know where they are. He is here. I have missed two... From their initial playthrough, my first start of the playthrough, because I was an absolute idiot and I didn't look anywhere. So we're going to statistics here. 94 out of 95, and I know where the last one is. Oh, dude, that's so good. All right, Machete Champion. Come on, show me. Show me. Yes, I can see him. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry, dude. I've got other things to do. The last dog tag. Oh, yes. No, where's my dog tag trophy? Bro, what do you mean? What are you doing? Why is it not popping? That's so annoying. It's because I grabbed the other one first and I didn't save. Ah, oh, boos. Now I've got to go back and get that. Oh, that's fine. Oh, and that should be it. That should be the dog tag. That should be all of them. Come on, pop man. I've been waiting for it. Devil's Brigade, all 95 dog tags, and the Wolverine experience. Ah, oh, yes! With those dog tags finally out of the way, we can now focus on all the other miscellaneous trophies. Here's some of the more interesting ones I had to do before the end of the game. Now for one of the last trophies, we had to level up all Wolverine's stats. This was definitely the grindiest trophy out of all the other ones. After a few hours of grinding and just watching a few episodes of One Piece, we finally got it at the end. Yes! Alright, cool. Just leveled up with that last enemy. 
awesome. Level 39, final level. So this is taking forever. So we've got 12 left. I'm going to level this bad boy up. One more. And that's everything leveled up. And we should hopefully pop that trophy. Keep. Yes. Fully loaded for leveling up all the skill points for Wolverine. Great. All right. Let's get back to the last part of the game. Getting to the final level, defeating uh, Weapon 11. After a gruesome 30 minutes, we finally defeated Remy. With him now trusting us, he has taken us to Striker's Island base, where he's holding all the mutants, where we get the biggest plot twist throughout the whole movie. So if you haven't seen it, turn away, but I'm sure you have. Striker and Caleb were actually working together to get Logan's mutation, so he can put it into Weapon 11, which is Deadpool. <laughs> of course, we already know how this goes. Logan gets upset. He's betrayed. He's really mad. Then all of a sudden, he's like, like, yep, fine, let's just wipe my memory and then we don't have to worry about any of this. Just before we're about to lose our memory, Creed comes out saying that he's working with Striker, which was pretty obvious. He's now got Kayla hostage. Logan is really pissed and he takes off the helmet, leading us into our next cutscene where we're fighting Creed. <laughs> I heal up just like you. Oh, he's so weak. I'm mincing him. Oh, he's, he's done. He is absolutely done. Put you back into the chair, make you lose your memories. And in, oh, he counted. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Done. <laughs> After finishing up the battle with Creed, we get introduced to the best character out of the whole movie. Wait. Yo, yeah. <laughs> it's Deadpool, bro. Well, you used to be more chatty than this. I guess you're not the merc with the mouth anymore. Wait, is that you? Striker finally figured out how to shut you up. You're up next. Thank you, sir. You look really nice today. It's the green. Brings out the seriousness in your eyes. Oh my god, do you ever shut up, pal? No, not when I'm awake. All right, let's see how strong this final boss is. I'm actually really intrigued. Ooh. Oh, 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 counted, counted. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. He's got the power to teleport. Final part of the game. Must have taken that ability from Wraith. It's just such a sick scene in the movie, though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's just too fast for me. Oh, he's too strong. Oh, yeah, counted that. Come on. Oh, he's so close to dying. Oh, it counted the last counter. Come on. Come on. How many times I gotta keep pressing, pressing that X? Oh, he's gonna be in the ground. He's gonna be in the air. He's halfway. Oh, he's done. He's so done. He is so done. Oh, I blocked that. I saw that coming. Done. Hey, trophy. Nice. That trophy popped. Where is it? The Deadpool for defeating Weapon 11. Yep, just like the movie, the head comes off. Kick him down. Sick. After that wicked battle defeating Deadpool, we now find ourselves at the end of the game, where Striker actually got what he wanted, erasing oh Logan's God. memory, to where Kayla pursued Striker to walk until his feet bleed, which was a really cool part of the movie. That was probably my favorite part. It was so sick. On a darker note though, I didn't even recognize this at the end of the game, but Kayla actually drowns herself in the lake, which I, I don't know why they put this in, but I, I guess it kind of works. And it was really funny how they did that. But Logan does wake up and he has no memory and he just walks off into the distance, leading us into our last trophy of the game. As I already mentioned in the start of the video, all we have to do is finish the game on hard difficulty. As we got to the last bit of the game, I did realize how underleveled I was as I was speeding through the story again. It didn't seem to be an issue until we had to fight Weapon 11. My attacks weren't doing any damage. As I was getting frustrated, I decided to look up a YouTube video to see if there was any techniques for the final boss. And we were in luck. There was one technique that really helped. It was almost like a glitch. Just before Deadpool gets up, you keep using the same moves over and over again. It was very slow, but of course, I was very happy just to get it done. And now we can get to the final part of the video where we get our Platinum Trophy. One more. Yes. I know I've already done it, but my god, half an hour that took. Walking death, finish the game, Platinum, finish the game on hard difficulty. That was probably one of the hardest trophies. Man, that's the end. We've finally done it. We have become a mutant and we have gotten the platinum trophy. Overall, I would say it was a really good game. It was definitely a hack and slash. A lot of the trophies were based on many kills. Hence why we focused on the story a little bit more to make it more interesting. But thank you so much for joining me while we played through this game together. On that note, if you're still here, thank you so much for all the support on the most recent video. It definitely exceeded my expectations on where the video will go. Saying that, we're not going to be slowing down anytime soon. I've got so many ideas in the works and I can't wait to show you all what I've got planned. Until next time, 
time, you will look after yourselves and just remember every day is a challenge and overcoming it is a greater achievement.